today on Be Something Wonderful. Does this manifesting stuff really work? I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Big video today. It's been really an incredible few days here, really busy. And, and one of uh, my, my clients was commenting about a comment that was on the channel. I think it was one of you subscribers that, that asked the question, I mean, does this stuff really work or what? And it's and it just that your, your, your uh, deadline had passed your manifestation, what you expected didn't happen. And even my client was asking that because it, things have happened with her that also uh, she has experienced that sometimes she finds herself asking that question. And I really want to hit this today, guys, because when you ask that question, then, then you're assuming that this stuff, manifestation, reality creation, is outside of you that somehow it's separate from you, that reality is, is apart from you, and then it can't, quote, work. <laughs> or, or not to what you think it is. Because remember, you are the stuff, right? So the stuff's always working. You are, in the beginning, God. After that, the facts, the facts and the assumptions and the truths are what you decide them to be. Right? There's just ultimate reality. You get to decide your experience of that. So there are no facts. There's no fiction. There, there is just unlimited beingness. In the beginning, God. After that is all you. Do you hear this? All you, you decide your experience of that unlimitedness. Right? And, it, and as you interact with it, your world changes. Right? Your assumptions determine your experiencing of this unlimitedness, right? So does this stuff really work? Well, you are the stuff. So, so when you ask the question, you're just creating a reality of confusion. You're, you're creating a reality of not knowing whether it, it works. You just create a reality of not knowing, of just asking that question, right? The question assumes and implies separation and limitedness. Do you hear this? And yes, lack. Because I, I think one of you mentioned, or and, and, I, and as, this, as some of you were commenting and giving some great uplifting um, things, you were saying some great uplifting things, but sure enough, there are others who are going, you know what, I've come, I'm going through the same thing. They started telling their stories of limitation, their stories of lack, their stories of does this really work? Right? And none of that, none of that helps, it moves you to what you want. It moves you away from who you really are. You're looking in the other direction whenever you're asking that question. Right? So the question assumes and implies separation and limitless. You're going to go, well, I didn't feel lack before that, before the deadline passed or before it didn't happen. Impossible. Right? Because before, be, before they call, I will answer. And while they're still speaking, I will hear. There's only the now moment. And so if you're, it, it, either you're in lack or you're not in lack. Either you believe or you don't believe. Either this stuff works for you or it doesn't. But, but there is no in between. There is no, be, it's all happening right now, right? Either you are a whole, you're infinite, you're unlimited, or you are not. You choose what you experience of your infiniteness with your assumptions. So you, you are always infinite. You are always God. You are always that divine being. You can only believe or assume an experience of something less. Do you hear it? So either you're believing it or you're not, right? That, that's the only question. You'd never ask that question when you know that you're that infiniteness, when you know that as you're asking that question, you're changing reality, you're creating reality, you're creating your entire life experience with your assumptions of that. So either you are a whole, infinite, unlimited, or you're not. In other words, either you're having the experience of that infiniteness or that unlimitedness, or you're not. You choose what you experience of your infiniteness with your assumptions. So, 
You can't see what you cannot see. You can't know what you don't know. Do you hear it? You've got to be, you've got to see it to see it. You've got to know it to know it. You are the infinite self looking for yourself, right? You, who you really are in the finite. You're looking, you're looking for yourself in that, in that, that point zero 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 one percent of manifested reality when you are the infinite you're all of it right you are looking for who you are in the finite you will never see beyond your assumptions so when you ask that question you're making the assumption that it's that it's possible that there's something that that either is working or isn't working that's outside of you do you see it guys until you assume so you so you will never see beyond your assumptions until you assume nothing, until you hold on to nothing by assuming you are everything. Do you hear that? So you will never see beyond your assumptions until you assume nothing. In other words, hold on to nothing by assuming that you're everything. You don't need to hold on to anything when you are everything. It's all you. You, you don't need to ask that question. Because it's you, you are the stuff, you are the working, you are the perceiver, the perceiving and the perception, right? No thing is outside of you. The stuff can't work when you're asking that question. So it, it, remember the, we talked about the mirror world or the mirror reality. When you're, when you're, remember, you're always looking in that mirror. That, that mirror world. And so when you say, does this stuff really work? What's the mirror say? Your guess is as good as mine. It must show you a reality of confusion that you're feeling within. It only mirrors your state of being. It only mirrors your confusion. It only mirrors your question. So when you ask the world, does this stuff really work? What's the world say? Your guess is as good as mine. There you are. The question implies reality creation manifesting is something that happens or works outside of you. And that's not the case. Put yourself, your higher self, at the center. Not manifesting your, desi not manifesting your desires or an outside reality. You're, you're putting manifesting at the center or your desires at the center or some reality that's outside of you at the center and trying somehow to get there, manipulate it, or be there. You put yourself at the center, right? And then you cannot be something or have something and look for it at the same time. You can't be it or have it and look for it at the same time. You can't be it or have it and ask if it's working at the same time. They do not coincide. There is no, you gotta either decide you are it and then, and then stay and stop trying to look for it and just be it or not, right? You simply create a reality of looking for it but not finding it. When you're looking for it and not, so you cannot be something or have something and look for it at the same time. Why? Because you simply create a reality of looking for it but never finding it, right? So nothing just happens or doesn't happen or works or doesn't work. Only what you assume, believe, imagine, and expect happens or doesn't, or works or doesn't work. Do you see it? There's no, nothing just happens or doesn't happen or works or doesn't work. You determine that. Only what you assume, only what you believe, only what you imagine and expect happens or doesn't or works or doesn't. Based on your assumptions, based on what you believe, you are reality. You create it all. You decide it all. There are no, it's not that, it's not that the reality creation is not something that works or doesn't work. You are all of it. You change your experience of reality with every thought, feeling, assumption, and belief in that moment. This is why Jesus, or uh, scripture said in Isaiah 65, 24, God said, before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. It's happening right now. And it's, hap and it's all happening in that now moment. So it's a, it's a, it, if you say, well, I'm, not, I'm in lack now, but I wasn't, before they call, I will answer. It was already happening. You already were believing it. It was already there. The moment you are not all that is, you are experiencing lack, trying to become what you already are or already have.
what's already yours. Do you hear it? The moment you are not all that is, the moment you let go of the idea that you're not infinite, that you are, that you're not a divine being, that you don't already, that you are not all that is, then you're, you're trying or you're experiencing lack. You're trying to become what, what, what you already are. You're trying to have what's already yours. And then you can only experience lack because you already have it. You already are it. That's big today. So trusting your inner authority as a unique creator of God consciousness means you determine if this stuff really works. Hear it again. Trusting your inner authority as a unique center of God consciousness means you determine if this stuff really works. Right? It was like when uh, the disciples came to Jesus when they were, when they were trying to, to remove a, a demon right, from the boy in, in Scripture. Right? And we're talking about unwanted thoughts. That's what the demons represented. And they, and they said, they asked Jesus, well, why couldn't we do it? And Jesus said, simply because of your unbelief. That's all it is. And what, what's your unbelief? Your unbelief that you're not that divine being, that you're not infinite. You might say, well, no, I believe in my wish fulfilled, or I, be I, be I have been believing this. But if you were believing in it, you, there would be no movement from it ever. You're infinite, period. It doesn't change with things that are manifested and not manifested. You are infinite. You are that all being. It's because of your unbelief. Your reality is what you intend and expect it to be. It's all you. Your beliefs are just intentions about yourself and reality that you've allowed to operate on autopilot. Hear this, your beliefs, they're just intentions. All of that, right? Every now moment is the opportunity to intend again, letting go of everything that is not how you would like things to be. That's all it is. It's, it's not, it doesn't end. There's no ultimatum. There's no final point. 3D reality is constantly reshuffling itself according to your beliefs or your, or your intentions. Right? Sometimes we think beliefs are, are hidden or they're hard to change. They're not. They're just intentions that, that you've allowed to operate on autopilot. Right? So they become automatic. They become truths to you. Right? Every now moment is the opportunity to intend again, to believe again, letting go of everything that is not how you would like it, things to be. That's powerful, right? Your reality is what you intend and expect it to be. It's all you. In other words, what you believe. But these beliefs, just, they're not, they're, they're not the, these things that are, that, are, that are so solid and hard to change. They're simply intentions within you. You're an infinite being. You can change that in the moment. The world is constantly and instantly reshuffling itself around your state of being in this moment. And this moment is the only one there ever is. Right? Your state of being, your thoughts, feelings, and assumptions, are, is, your state of being is beyond time and space, which means everything changes, the past, present, and future, when you change. You change everything, all events. When you, when you change that state of being, that state of being is beyond time and space. It's beyond what you think is linear. And so when you, so as you change, as you keep seeing what you want to see, you keep seeing reality as you want to see it, everything changes. There's only one moment, right? So if, 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 you're, see, if you're asking why this doesn't work or, or does this really work, that's the state of being you're correct, you're, you're going to see. A state of being of confusion, a state of being where it's not really working, right? So beyond time and space, it therefore makes no sense to look at current unwanted conditions and ask, does this stuff really work? Do you hear it? If you're timeless and your, your, your state of being is timeless, it's beyond time and space, that the 3D world's constantly and instantly reshuffling itself around your changing state of being, then it makes no sense to look at current unwanted conditions and ask, does this stuff really work? Yes, it really works because you are all that stuff. You are all of it. You are infinite. You are unlimited. You are divine. Does this stuff, does this, man, does this manifesting stuff really work? Yes. I am your host, Tom Karen.
And this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe. Th oh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting the notification button. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for just being with us. Thank you for considering joining the, the membership channel. Also, guys, we have a Facebook group, the Facebook, uh, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. You, that's open to all of you. You can join us there. Also, you can join us on Facebook and Instagram at Tom Karen, or just go to our website anytime for all that information and more at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. With great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, creators and members, see you soon.